Hello and welcome back to this Excel 2007 tutorial. Today I'd like to look at uh, formatting a block of data as a table. Uh, it's a relatively new feature in Excel 2007 and it replaces what used to be called lists in 2003. So let's get started. What I'd like to do first of all is just demonstrate how Excel uh, can create an automatic list. So I'm just going to type January in the first cell here, click away from it and then click back on the fill handle and you can see that as I drag it will automatically fill in the months for me. And in column A I'm going to put north. In the second cell I'm going to type south, then east and west. So there are my four geographical regions and uh, there are my six months. Okay, now I'm just going to put some data in here that I've already created. So there's some data representing the sales figures for each of those months. Okay, so far so good. Now to create a data table out of this, it's really very simple. Uh, if I just click at any of the cells that are in this block of data, go up to the Home tab here and then across to the Styles group, one of the new buttons that appears on the Styles group now is this one, Format as Table. So if you click that, what happens is you get a whole palette of new styles appear. And I'm going to choose this one. And Excel then asks me, is that correct? Well, it is. And the months at the top of each column here, January, February, and so forth, uh, will act as headers. So it's important to put a tick in the box here to say, my table has headers and that will allow Excel to format it correctly. Two things have happened. Firstly, the uh, rows have now been banded alternate colors and secondly, at the top of each column we've now got what used to be called uh, an auto filter button. If I just demonstrate that, if I click on the first one for the regions, I can take the tick out of select all and let's just say I want to see the north and south uh, it's as easy as that. You can see now that that little um, auto filter button actually has a picture of a filter on it, uh, which is a great improvement from what it used to be. I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to click back on Select All. And there are a couple of other features as well. One is we've now got a little um, triangle in the bottom cell here. If I just demonstrate by clicking on that and dragging, what this will do is it will automatically follow the months in sequence. Okay, so I can extend this table. And if I go downwards a little bit, you'll see that it also extends the formatting. That will also happen if we put a value in. So let's say we wanted to add another area. And then if I put Scotland, and if I put another area in, let's say Wales, as soon as I press tab, you can see that it's going to be formatted as a table. Again, if you click somewhere within the table, you will see another tab open up, a contextual tab, these are called, uh, and they only appear when you've got that particular object selected. So in this case, it's the table tools, and underneath there, I have a design tab, and on there, you can see that one of my new options here is to include automatically a total row. So if I put a tick in the box, you can see there, Excel has actually added a total row and it will add up the last column in whatever the table is. So in this particular case, if I had one called totals, it would sum the whole of the data for me. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks very much for watching.